Oh my goodness, what are you doing? <laughs> Buffy, <laughs> can you hear me? Buffy, look at all these face masks. Look at these new face masks we just got from Betty working so hard. Look at all the new face masks. Replenishing stock. I hope you can hear me. It's members only chat. So if you want to become a member, this is the time. Smash that like button. Let me know you're here. 33 watchers already. Is anybody out there? Can I get a what, what? Can I get a what, what? Betty is working hard to make sure if you want a mask, you have an opportunity to get one at an affordable rate that's washable. Now, I'm not going to pick up every one of these, but here, look at the quality of this mask. Look at that. This, this is special edition full face mask. Some of these are not. Some of these are basic material. This is Hawaiian fabric, special edition. This is a size small. Small and medium full face mask are now in stock. <coughs> <coughs> Dee Dee, swallow your spit in the right place. <clears throat> Saki, are you ready to get a face groom? Are you ready to get a face groom, girl? Huh? Face masks are now in stock at myfavoritegroomer.com. They're handmade in the United States. This is a special edition full face mask, size medium or small? Small. And then these are mediums, and then there's a handful of larges here. They're all in stock now. We're, we're back in stock. If you are above the age of 55 and you were here where I could touch you, you would, you would have a face mask from me. I, I don't care what people say. I'm just going to believe my own thing. And since I like wearing a face mask, I have them for sale. And I have had them for sale for over 10 years or so. You won't believe where we're at right now. <laughs> 18 smash the like button 60 watchers smash that like button if you're just getting here let me know you're happy we're live i've come and set up out of my way to do a live video with you guys smash the like button once we get to maybe 40 50 likes we'll start the process that we're gonna do a very quick face cleanup if you want a face mask you can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com Search face mask at the top right search engine on myfavoritegroomer.com. Smash that like button. Let's get us up to 40 likes and we'll go ahead and get going on Saki's face. Thanks so much for joining us. Please support your local small businesses. I can tell you right now with this COVID-19, your local small businesses that were not doing well financially are not going to survive. This is a members chat only. Thank you, those of you guys who are members to the channel who have decided to do that, maybe for the long haul, maybe since the beginning that YouTube allowed that to happen. You get to chat privately with me today. Become a member today by switching your screen or in the, in the um, what am I trying to say? In the description of the video, there is a link on going to become a member okay and it's through youtube this is a youtube platform so this is through youtube you're becoming a like basically a a member to the channel thanks of you thanks you guys who are members i appreciate you a couple of you have gone membership gold Woohoo! whoop whoop membership gold po folks that's what i'm talking about baby these are our brand new masks we just got. We had to um, fulfill inventory. We ran out of all medium full face masks. We are now in stock. They're very affordable. You can wash them, hang dry them. They're made by Betty Dyer. If you don't know Betty Dyer, you can look at, uh, look at my YouTube videos and look up the video called like Meeting My Fan. She has everything in her studio to make these and she is working hard to make these for us. They're extremely affordable, extremely affordable. And no offense, if our whole nation is out of face masks, how is someone gonna tell me I can't wear mine? You know why? 
How are you going to tell me I can't wear my face mask? It's not going to do anything. I'm going to tell you it's going to do something. It may not do something for you, but it's going to do something for me. And I think anything is better than nothing. Anything is better than nothing. Our, if you have a face mask and you're not sick and it's not fabric, right? Go give it to the hospitals who don't even have an abundance right now and buy yourself a fabric one where you can wear around the house and you can wash it and this and that. Our hospitals don't even have enough face masks. If I, I'm like, can I? Can you tell me what you need in the face mask to make it a surgical one? Because I'll, I'll have them made right now. All this bull, all this BS about oh we we uh, no. Tell whoever needs to be making these face masks. Tell them how many we need to be making and how to make them, and we'll make them. There are people in the U.S. that still make stuff. Man, I wish I knew what it took. Don't you? Not for myself, but dang it, for the hospitals. For the firefighters, for the police department. These police are still driving around at night protecting everybody. These firefighters are still running around with EMS. Are they all wearing face masks? Do they even have a face mask? If my son or daughter worked in that industry, I would have them some kind of face mask. Something's better than nothing, in my opinion. I feel really bad about, about that right now. It makes me very upset, if you can't tell. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, MP, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Thank you, MP. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Buffy, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Jennifer T., I'm going to have to be sending you a gift or something, man. This is a couple donations, huge donations coming from you the last couple lives. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Jennifer T to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. I am on my cell phone. Can anybody post the link to the face mask for me for other people? Can anybody do that? If you have the ability, go copy the link on my website and post it for me. Is that possible? All right. We'll come back and look at these face masks maybe one more time. And then we may not because I might forget. But I want you to know how important it is for me to be here for you as we bunker down and go no contact in a quarantine situation. Now, everybody get your face mask on. <laughs> All right. All right, here we are. I am in a public place. I am not where I normally would be. And I, the reason why, not only is it really great weather out, but I really want you to know you can do what I'm about to do on Saki anywhere in the world okay you just might need to have a couple of the right tools am i right and some of y'all let me tell you i had a couple phone calls today some of y'all have no idea how to maintain your tools okay and i just gotta say oh man this sweet old lady today i talked to her today she ordered two face masks she ordered some blades she said Didi, my groomer is not working anymore now I have a standard poodle that's matted and I need to do something and I need help. Do, I had her on the phone because she didn't order the face mask. She accidentally just ordered string. So I called her and said, did you want the string or did you want a face mask? So she ordered some face mask. We talked about the string. She didn't need the extra string, but you can order string. I know some of y'all want to loop it and go around your head. For me, I, I don't love this all day, eight hours. I would want it around my head. So you can order the extra string to do that. Now. I got, on, I got on the phone with her. Thank you, MP. Thank you so much, girl. I got on the phone with her and... Let me check. Uh, Saki. <laughs> Saki's so ready, man. Saki's looking out, out the window. All right. So she, uh, she and I talked. She said, Didi, I'm like 80 or 70, 75, 80 years old. I'm going back to groom my standard poodle because my groomer's not grooming anymore. And I said, I understand why. Let me tell you, you kiss your dog, right? You cough on your dog. You do all these things. And then you take your dog in and, and then you, it's actually cold. It's chilly um, with the wind. Okay. You take your dog in for the groomer to groom your dog, right? W what if you were sick and what if you coughed on your dog? For me, I don't have enough facts yet to make a decision on if I, if I would catch something from blowing around the germs or... The dog sneezes in my face, which has happened. 
it goes in my eye. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't know yet. So my choice in my business is to not groom right now. And so guess what? All these thousands of videos have been out there for free for you to learn how to groom your own dog. And I'm so grateful. Thank God you had me prepare for this since 2009. God, you are amazing. And you come through in so many ways for so many people. Now, she said, Didi, this is where your videos came in to help. And I thought, really? Yes. If I could help one person, right? Maybe two? How about a thousand? Maybe all the fans right now, 190. Okay, I know some of them are not fans because they just don't have anything better to do. They don't like me. 180,000 out of the 190,000 fans I've got on YouTube. Woo! If I could help one, I was a blessing, right? If I could help two, and now how about if I could help all of you? And you share this. You share this, please. Because there's a little old lady down your street, too, and a little old man, and there's a guy in a wheelchair, and then there's a... These are all people I've talked to. Yeah, I've actually talked to you, and you know I've talked to you. Remember the old man who was military? He was in a wheelchair, and he wanted to groom his own dog? Oh, I told him you could definitely groom your own dog. What's the height of your wheelchair, I said. Anyhow, today I talked to a little old lady. A little old lady, a definition is 70 years old and up, okay? Or maybe 65 and up. Little old lady, that's what I'm going to say. You cute little old lady. Okay. So I talked to her and I said, you can pop that clipper blade off, right? No, I can't. I said, well, are you sure? She goes, yep. Uh, she goes, I said, well, then these blades that you ordered are not going to work. She goes, oh, great. She ordered two ceramic 10 blades, two 40 blades. She said she used to groom her own dog a long time ago. She hasn't had to. And now that her groomer's not grooming, she's got to shave down this matted dog. Standard poodle, by the way. And she said, you know, um, this is my dream dog. And she goes, and I don't know why I decided to get one when I was 70 years old. And I said, because dreams come true. Dreams come true. But now you have to take on some of these roles. And I recommend you do some of these things by yourself at home. Okay. Right now, COVID-19 is in the house. And you can't tell me that I'm not sick. And I can't even tell myself I'm not sick. And I can't even tell you if I'm not sick. Because I don't even have any symptoms for three weeks. <laughs> now, you do like the sound effects, right? There's going to be some chit-chatting here. Because I haven't talked to you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so it's like 12 minutes of chit-chatting. Plus, you guys had to do the 40 likes. And, you know, get there. And then we got to talk about things. And then my door's open and everything. Saki's fine. So we go over 10 minutes. And I'm talking to this lady on the phone who ordered from me. And I am like saying, get me the model number. Get. She goes, there's two screws on the blade. I know there's two. There's two screws on most blades. This one, I can pop this one off too. Guess what? It's not the same blade. It's got a stem there. This is not your average 40 and it's 40 blade. No. There's two screws on the blade, she says. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't tell me anything. No offense. Doesn't help. I said, okay, great. Don't touch the screws, I said. Don't ever touch the screws. Okay. Then I said, try to pop it off. Nope, can't pop it off. Are you guys listening? Did I lose anybody? I said, please try to pop the blade off. No, I can't pop it off. Okay. Then you, if you can't pop the blade off, then you can't replace that blade with the blades you ordered. Okay, the pop off. And you can't do that. Okay. She goes, oh, great. And I said, what's the model number then? So she, she's like, well, I can't see the model number. I'm 80 years old, right? I said, okay, well, I understand. Go get, do you have reading glasses? Uh-huh. Go get them. I'll wait. Okay, give me a minute. This is exactly, I said, I should have recorded this. I said, should I be recording this conversation? I tell her. She's like, no. And I'm like, yeah, I think I should be recording. I, I should have recorded. Let me tell you why I should have recorded. She goes and gets the reading glasses. She gets me a model number. I said, hey, you know what? Let's get off the phone. Do you know how to text a picture? Little old lady. Yes, I do. And I, she called her husband. Honey, can you help me? Okay. So her and her honey text me a picture of the blade, a picture of the clipper. And I call and I go Google and I go watch a video and I call her back and I say, look, I don't have that clipper. She goes, oh, and I said, but I'm going to tell you right now, go pop that blade off. It won't pop up. I said, well, you just, just please. 
sit down so that you don't pop it off and it goes flying onto the floor and you break the blade. I said, sit down on the couch, put the cord between your knees, looking at the clipper like this, look at the clipper, take two fingers on your thumbs, two fingers here like this and pop off the clipper blade. She said, okay. I said, did you hear what I said? Cause now we're talking, right? You gotta hear what I'm saying. Can't just do it. You gotta listen to how I said, do it. Put him, no, 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 put the cord between your thing. Da, 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 da. Put your two thumbs here and it pop that blade off. I said, be sure you're near the couch in case it goes flying. It's happened to me and you break the blade. Okay, I'm at the couch. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, she says it popped off. And I said, okay, how many times did you tell me it's not gonna pop off? She said, I am so sorry. Okay cute little story right how many of you guys didn't know your blade doesn't pop off some of them don't a very cheap clipper doesn't and she said this was a really expensive clipper and I said okay okay let's really reevaluate re this how many of you guys didn't realize your blade pops off yes maybe go check it out go try it out if your blade pops off, there might be a hinge that you have to push and pull off. There might be just a pop off, or it might be just a different kind of blade. Okay, this is not a regular Andis blade here. This is a five in one. This is called a five in one blade. And this is on my website as an LI5. And guess what? I don't have the cord. It's been charging. It's ready to go. And I'm going to use this right here in the middle of nowhere. We're here with some bushes and a tree. In my car, we're in the middle of nowhere. Okay, this, this is really handy for these sanitary quick little things. All right, smash that like button. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of our channel today. We're doing member only chats. So if you are not a member, this is a time you can become a member to chat with fans. Thanks a lot for being here. Make sure you pick up a face mask if you like one or know someone that can use one. Something's better than nothing and they are not surgical masks. You can pick them up at myfavoritegroomer.com. So now... If you don't know the tools that you have, that's why I told you this beautiful story today. If you don't know the tools that you have, go watch all of my tool videos. And as we go through this COVID-19, I might be more talking about those things. I'll be doing some more demonstrations instead of grooming. But today, Saki's waiting for us. She wants to, me to show you guys how to work with her face. So, in order to do that, this is why it's so important is that one, you have to have the right tools. And to do some of the face stuff we need to do, you don't need a lot of tools. But check this out, once you get the tools, you usually don't have to add more or replace unless you want to. So keep that in mind. It isn't like someone like me is trying to sell you something over and over and over and over. The one thing you do have to buy over and over and over and over is toilet paper, <laughs> paper towels, right? Which are out of stock right now not joking you might need to buy over and over and over shampoo conditioner um leave-in conditioner sanitizer blade cleaner blade oil and if you're doing this at home and you only have one or two dogs guess what you're going to use that oil probably in five years you're not having to buy regularly if you're using the coolant regularly you're going to have to buy that if you're using the coolant slash sanitizer regularly Getting ready for my brain MRI. Good luck, Callie, we're praying for you. Okay, good luck. Please be safe and wear a mask. Um, if you are using your coolant as a coolant, not a coolant slash sanitizer and just using it to sanitize, my sanitizer I'll probably, which is my spray bottle here, this, this sucker on my website, okay? If you're using this as a coolant, you'll probably go through this in definitely a month. I'm probably going to go through this, not using it as a coolant because I have multiple blades. I'll probably go through my coolant in three months and I'll go through my oil in a year. I mean, you're not going to go through this stuff like crazy. It just depends on what you have. So what I mean is once you have your tools, it's pretty cool. You just maintain them, clean them, keep them in order, store them where there's not water. I mean, it's pretty cool. They say you're supposed to oil your blades after every groom. Now, I don't do that because it will just make it just so hard to groom. So you can oil your blades once a week, twice a week, once a month. Or it like if you're not using them all the time, Buffy, like you for, per, personally for me to you, I would order, oil them after 
you use them that day because then you're not going to use them for what three months so just clean them oil them let the blades sit upside down if you don't have a blade box those are cheap i have a lot of blade and oiling and all that blade videos so go to myfavoritegroomer.com on youtube go to click on my logo scroll down on the right there's its own search engine for my channel only and type in blade or tool or clipper and watch all those videos they'll come up all together okay you don't need if you're not using your blades and clippers in my opinion it's not unless you don't use them for years you want to make sure they don't get rusty that means that they're like if you live near the ocean or water you're going to have more rust on your equipment you you want to be able to, to check on them if you don't use them for a year but I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull them out every month and oil them and all that if I'm not even using them. I would definitely use them, clean them, sanitize them, oil them, put them up for next use. Make sense? Okay, let me put this down. Saki is so darling. Okay, here's some of the tools I grabbed to come out here in this public environment one-on-one -on -one quarantining myself you know just i'm not gonna say quarantine but definitely keeping myself a distance from those folks that are out there and my goal is to not be the middleman for anything so the first thing i do is i have a betty tool kit kit and i put all my scissors in here okay so she she's only given me a few of these to sell so pick one up all my scissors are in here okay my scissor, my comb, my tool, my aggressive tool, my uh, brush, a little baby brush for my clippers, I'll show you that. And my comb fits in there and my baby brush might fit in there, okay? Then I have the bubble tip here. I believe it's 6.5 bubble tip. Anyway, it's the anvil bubble tip. Bubble tip here is like, I, I like to say bubble because I love bubbles. But this is gonna be your bubble tip here. And that's the curved one. Then I have my brush cleaner for my cleaning out my blade. Then I have the Andis cordless or corded. It comes with a cord. Right now I don't need it. It's charged, it's ready to go. Uh, this is the Andis LI5. I have them on my website. They're very affordable. I have my shaper brush. The ones on my website are white. I just grabbed the Scaredy Cut face scissor. Bubble tip. It's small, like maybe three or four inches. I have my large slicker brush. I have my aluminum comb, just in case. I have my small dog up sand. I have my dog up mini. Those you can get at dogupstand.com. Then I have a grooming table. This table has been rhino lined. And if you want one, I'll have to find out if they're still in business. But this table is really expensive. This table was made in a way that I know that I can sit it out in weather because I used to do a lot of outdoor dog stuff for 10 years in the sun of 104 degrees in the rain in the cold so I needed a rhino lined type of table and this table I have set up right now is a tall table it's perfect for me I don't need risers for it and it's very expensive because it's made for all weather okay so I got a table and you don't need a table if you have a table in your house whatever as long as it has a lip on it then you can get a table arm and then there's affordable table arms on my website as well if you need the table, please email me. And then I have my 18 inch groom loop. They don't make this style anymore. I have another blue one right now. It's a plaid, kind of a plaid color. Now, here we go. This is what I got going on. This is my table setup. okay? So I got my table and this is like, I mean, this is, this is good, good stuff. I realized I had to really invest in a table if I was going to be doing and handling dogs all right now we're gonna go get sake so this is the tools I plan on possibly using this is all I really need to do this job that I'm gonna do today I'm gonna touch up her sanitary check her tummy with the clipper and then I'm also going to do a little bit of face stuff with these two scissors these two scissors and then I may use this for the face but she likes to whip her face a lot so I may just do the scissors good chin hold jawbone hold and then do this on the sanitary and the tummy all right here we go let's get her get her going let's get our sake out make sure we're, we're looking good here 
Yeah, but that Rhino line spray paint ain't the same. I have that in my mobile trailer and they used it, whoever put, it was a firefighter who did it. It just peels off. This is fabricated from the company and it has never peeled off. All right, so Saki's gonna come out. So I need to move some of my tools away or off. Something that she might kick off the table and break would be these three tools. You wanna make sure you have control of these three expensive tools. Do a little something something for you two, okay? Hmm? All right. Oh my goodness, is she not cute? I was looking at her yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, you're getting so old on me. Getting so old on me, girl. Yeah. I do actually want to change my gloves. Hold on. gloves out. Okay. People are driving by. I'm sure they're like, what is that woman doing? But hey, I'm doing it outside, enjoying the weather. And I want you to know you can do what, I, what I'm doing anywhere. That means you can do it in your house. You can do it wherever, right? Y'all feel me? We got 100 watchers, 101 watchers. Make sure you smash that like button. If you're happy, I'm here for you. Something for you to watch, learn, and do. Are you shivering? Don't shiver. You're okay. You know, something I am missing that you might want, depending on the dog you have, is you might want a flea comb right now, okay? All right, so uh, check the boogers. I like to check these boogers and stuff. She's my pet. She's my pet. I live with her. I've had her for, what, nine years? Have I rescued you for nine years? Oh, my goodness. We kiss our dogs. We love our dogs. If we're sick around our dogs, our dogs are carrying that germ as well. Somewhere on their coat. I don't know how long it lasts. But let me tell you, be aware of your surroundings and know, you know, know, okay? Be aware of your surroundings and know and, and contemplate like, wow, I'm going to take you somewhere and they're going to. You got a little crusty right there, do you? Let me see. Yeah, you do. Getting stuck there a little bit. There I can't even feel my fingers because they're gloved a little bit. Work with me here. Work with me. There you go. One more? Let me see, one more. Let me see, one more. Oh yeah, little hair, whatever. Cause she, the problem is she like, it, the lip rolls up a little bit more since she has some teeth pulled out. So it's really important that you watch some of these things that are happening too right here. All right, let's get to it. Come here, Saki, I gotta go get my scissors. Now, she doesn't love the clipper, so I'm putting my finger in this groom loop here, okay? You gotta figure out what, how, what or how you wanna control. You can kinda come up like this. Now you got this little connection here. Come up on the nose like this, come down, trim out. Or you can come in this way, you know, and really hold the jaw. Come in this way, hold the jaw here like this. You want to make sure she doesn't snap back when you're working on the scissors. So right now, I'm going to put my finger again inside this loop. The loop has to be a little tight here. A little friction so I can move her jaw like this if I need to, okay? Does that make sense? Here we go. Back in there. She loves to whip her head, too. Now you can use this, this scissor here or this scissor here, okay? 
And what I don't like, I don't really like the placement of my arm, so I'm going to move my arm here. I'm going to move it over here. I move the arm to the corner of the table, not the middle here. That way I have this space here. See, instead of having it here, have it there instead of here, okay? Let me see, please. Yeah, there you go. Now, in order to know what you need, you got to get it up in your face here. Get it in your way, right? And then you're going to know what you need to trim. Or if you want to trim it. So get your shaper brush. That's perfect, right? Get your shaper brush here. You got this, baby? May I see you here? We're just going to come up and around. I've got a good... I got a little... I got a little grip on that hair under chin too, as well as my finger through the groom loop. Okay. Inverted V here. Go that way. I'm gonna show you on this side here with this baby scissor here. Oh, that was nice and sharp too. You can come in with your baby scissors here. Oh yeah, that's good, right? I have, a, I have a pinch of hair here. You guys can't see it, but I am pinching a little bit of hair there. You gotta have full control of the face, okay? When I'm doing this, I'm not keep, I came, I moved my hand back and closed the scissor. If I'm gonna move, do some moving, close the scissor. Your scissor is open when you're ready to take cut. Scissor closed, scissor open, scissor open. Little by little, doot, doot, doot. scissor open, close. Nice, nice. Smash that like button if you're just joining us, you're happy, something to watch. If I'm teaching you something, smash that like button. Okay. I like all these fuzzies, right? But if you don't, get ready, take them off. So I'll put this ear all the way out of my way, because that way I don't come up here and cut that ear, right? Face mask is helping me. The wind is bringing some of that hair around me. That face mask is definitely keeping it out of my face. Saki, what are you looking at over there? Pull that ear up out of the way if you're going to trim, okay? See how I'm moving everything into my way so I can see what do I still want to do? And guess what? This is like art. If you don't want to take it or if it's not that big of a deal, don't. Don't worry about it, okay? This is your dog. You live with your dog, right? You're doing this yourself, hopefully from the home front because we are not allowed to leave the house. Okay. Close scissors, remember? Close your scissors. Protecting her, her ear here. Move it out of your way if you're gonna scissor up. You want to keep it long? I like to keep it long, but let's just go ahead and do the bang thing. And then we'll bring it back. There you go, Wynn. Thanks. Put that in my face there so I can take it out. I see something right here. I see it. Nice jaw hold, okay? May I? 
Oh yeah, girl, that's good enough for me. So this is good enough for me. I've got it all out of her face now. It's looking real nice. Can you look at me? Saki Maki. Excuse me, can I get your attention please? Can I just get your attention please? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. I just love you, Saki Maki. I just love you. Okay, now. Let's go get the clipper. Come with me. Bitte schön. Some of these tools I may not even need to use, but I have them just in case. All right, so we're gonna use a clipper here. We're gonna use some body stuff here. Let's come down like this. Okay, just work with me here. We're looking at the body here anyway, okay. Later, I'm gonna do her nails. But this is not the nail video. So here we got our five and one. 40 down to a nine. Okay. If you buy this, I recommend there's a link right there. As soon as you buy this on my website, get that extra blade in case you do drop it and break it. Because that's happened to me one time. If you pop it off and drop it and break it, you have your replacement blade right there. And then when this gets dull, which gets dull faster than our regular blades, then you have your replacement right there. Always buy an extra set if you can afford it. unless it's an emergency is on the pads it is really like boom 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 it's like fast it's like boom boom we're done with the pads already okay now i'm going to push my my uh five and one all the way over to the nine which is the longest it's going to do all the way up to the 40 so i'm going to push it back to the nine that's the longest of the hair that this will do okay and let's check your tummy can you come up for me up 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 I'm gonna do skim here. I'm actually kind of not even touching the skin here, okay? Just skim, skim, because she got some nipples in there. Just be real careful. Skim, skim, I'm not touching the skin, okay? Especially with that wind, it kind of shows you where that hair is just hanging around. And let's see, I take her tail here and actually take off this point if you want to. Boom, boom. Just take it off like that. All right, here, we're going to come in. We're going to do, this is, what, this is why I moved the dog uptown. So it's on the lowest one. Yeah, on the lowest one. Slide that under there. So then I can come up here and clean her sanitary. Did you guys hear that truck a few minutes ago? He honked? <laughs> He's honking and stuff. He's like, can you groom my dog? I'll be like, oh gosh, this is not the, this is my dog. I can sneeze on her and love her, kiss her, and I actually been trying to refrain from doing too much of that, right? This whole thing about the whole no symptoms, I'm just skimming now, just chit-chatting. Any of those flurries, you can skim if you want, or you can just get your scissors out. See, wasn't that perfect? Get that dog up stand out of there now. Boom, all done. Sanitary, everything's all done. Isn't that awesome? Okay, be right back. Let me put my clipper up. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Miss Saki get her face and her sanitary done and her pads. I'm going to get her back in the car and I'm going to come and close out with you guys. We'll be right back.
All right, you guys, I just want to say thanks a lot for being a part of what I do. I hope um, I've talked to some of you guys out there and we've discussed, you know, I just really want to wear my face mask, but no one else is around. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. <laughs> no, for real. I've gotten so, so, let me put it in my pocket. So this is what I do with my face mask. Here it is. I pick which side I'm going to use and then I stay, keep it consistently closed up okay and then i'll do my on guard drop in there or if you want to do an oregano oregano might burn your lips but you could do your oregano drop in there you could do your on guard drop in there that's what i do with my mask i have another mask and so i cycle them out so one gets a 24 hour distance from my face or anything and then i do a hand sanitizer spray with it which is the on guard spray all this is on my website it might help you i don't know if it will but it might and that's just what I do with my little, my stuff. So I hope this helps one of you guys, some of you guys, maybe just following some of the same things I do uh, might help you. Um, uh, yeah, so Lee Riley, in my opinion, I do the on guard on my mask and I also do another, I put a little roller bottle, I have a little roller bottle of on guard and I roll that on the bottom of my feet at night and then go to sleep with socks on. Give me a second. All right, I just want to reiterate. Masks are in. You can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com. We've got masks are in. These are fabric masks, handmade by Betty D. By Betty D. And like this is the this is this pattern is a Hawaiian fabric. That's a special edition small face mask. And then we got larges back in, which are regulars. Uh, look at the colors, man. They're gorgeous. So we do have those back in stock. All right. My hair is totally growing long and I'm gelling it back until it gets a little longer and then man, we just have fun with it, right? So if you haven't known me for very long, uh, let's just say maybe the last four years, maybe five, seven, eight, I have been changing my hairstyle like nonstop. So I think you should have fun with your hairstyle. And as I have gotten older, I have realized I really, really like short hair. And so have fun with your short hair. I've taken it down really short. I've shaved right now. I've shaved everything except for the top. I'm growing that out. I've uh, grown it out side like that i mean just have fun with it okay have fun with what you feel like is who you are and what you're comfortable with and what you enjoy it is your life and your world and and you should have fun with it okay any final like last minute questions before i kind of sign out i hope you learned something today i hope Saki made you smile i hope you could see just a handful of tools like what we used four tools i didn't even use my slicker brush or my aluminum comb but she's not one that's gonna be brushed every day. If you, if you don't wanna brush every day, don't get a dog that you need to brush every day. And if you do get a dog that you need to brush every day, this is the time to start. <laughs> this is where you start. Right now when you're on home quarantine, mandated by maybe your city, county, da 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 da. Your corn, guess what, bring it all. I started painting my own nails, okay? Bring it back home. Bring some of these things back home. You know, it'd be something else if we all came out as groomers and said, you know what? We're not be grooming anymore. The dogs are carrying the thing on. What if that happened? I hope you really think and evaluate this. Uh, I am um, for my own health and not for, I'm younger than my parents. I'm really evaluating it for my parents' health and my clients. You know, Deborah, Cynthia, heart, heart disease patients. I mean, like, Come on, um, be aware. And if you're a groomer and you're watching my channel and you're still grooming, please let me know if you end up getting sick. I'd really like you guys to educate us. You know, if we're, if you're still bringing on clients and you're blow drying them and you're washing them, you know, client dogs, it, cats, if you're still, let us know if you get impacted. Didi, I got sick yesterday, I don't know, you know what I mean? We don't know, there's not enough facts. Okay. All right, Buffy, you got a question. Um, 
and all those of you guys are chatting right now, you're members, so thank you so much for being a member on my channel. I really appreciate you. Brenda, what's up? I love you, I miss you. All right. It's time we put others first. Thank you. Um, if I put you first, you're putting me first, right? If I put Brenda first, Brenda, you're in my, you're in that category, okay? Brenda's, how old is Brenda? You don't have to say the age, you can say your age bracket. The average client that I groom for, and I don't groom Brenda's pets, but I know Brenda and I love her. Connie, how old, what bracket are you in? Lee, what bracket are you in? My, my average clientele on YouTube, grooming your own pet, me teaching you how to groom your own pet, me teaching you how to groom, Connie, uh, your, your age bracket, where are you at? You're above the age of 50. And like I said, and this is not going back to that COVID, but hey, it is kind of like, be aware of who you impact. You know, I just itched my nose and now I'm gonna go shake someone's hand. Be aware of what you are doing that could impact somebody else. So right now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna wash up, I'm gonna take care of my dogs. And I'm not going to go shopping or go hang out with my neighbor or go see my parents. I'm not going to do all these things, right? Now, I have to say, if I did, I should have washed my hands before I went somewhere. So that's why the face mask comes in handy for me, is that I'll find myself driving down the road in my car by myself with my face mask on and I'm itching my nose. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I'm itching my nose through my mask. It's not all over my fingers. My DNA is not all over my fingers. My spit, spit, saliva, sweat, all that stuff. These are all things I don't think we think about. I wasn't, uh, well, I can't say that. I've, I'm a, I am a germ, I think about germs a lot. So I, I, can't, I probably have thought about that stuff already, which is why I love my face mask. But let me go back up to Buffy's question and maybe just a couple more and then we're gonna close out. I'm, I'm, I, I wonder, I'm growing out Bishop, but his hair with brushing daily still tangles nearly immediately. I wonder if there's anything that would help hair not tangle. I can't help you there, Buffy. What comes to my head is immediately saying, cut the hair or you're gonna go through like what I go through, which is a really sucky time of growing hair out. And when you grow hair out, there's that phase that you hate. And so right now, if you cut the hair back, it'll less tangle. But if you let the hair grow, but d deal with this, it, you know, deal with this growing out phase. Brush check daily, brush check daily. In about two months, you will be past that because then it's gonna be longer and more flowing and maybe less tanglesome then. But you will go through a brush out, tangling, grow out phase, right? So my head is the same way. I'm growing in my hair out. There's, my hair is doing some crazy stuff. Personally, I don't love using a lot of product. You don't see me having, if you come to my house, I like some things, but I don't have a lot of product. I have a few of the same thing and I like to switch up the same thing I use, but I don't have 30 different things I need to put on or in my body to do something with my hair, right? So uh, uh, since Bishop is a older dog, I would say minimize any chemical, too much of all that, right? So could you get a gel? Yeah, I sell hair gel for dogs. You could do hair gel and do that, but you're gonna have to rinse it off, what, a few days? Wash it off a few days? So to me, what I would do is do the grow out phase or go ahead and trim the hair back just a tad. Okay, uh, let me go back up. What about something like no more tears for humans? No more tears, what about something like no more tears for humans? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, Connie, I get that. I understand that. She probably is, especially with that. Jennifer T got Dairy Queen last night. I'm really afraid to order. I'm just really afraid to do some of the eating out still. I just, I, I don't know that I, I want to do that still. Because I know how clean some of these places were. They weren't. And so now I'm trusting them to actually be even cleaner and I can't put my trust in that yet. And so unless they prove me wrong, I can still see people not wearing gloves, handling the food. I still see like they were doing in the news last night, they were showing like, you know, these corporate that were doing some great things, right? Donating food and having free kids meals and all these things. But the cleanliness factor is still the problem. 
And if you've ever walked in some of the places that I've walked into, you gotta go, whoa, you know, did you really pay attention to what they do with their hands in between? Just now, are they itching their nose? They're not wearing face masks handling my food. And they're not wearing even plastic gloves to handle my food. They're, and I worked in fast food before. I know what's going on. They do this and that, do the burger, this and that, this and that, do the mayonnaise and this and that, fold it, da da da, microwave it for 30 seconds, da da da, put it on the right. All this stuff, and you, it, you happen to itch your face and that person isn't showing symptoms and that person touched my burger i mean i just can't eat out right now <laughs> that's just my call i have uh, analyzed it a few times because like even what i did that panda express email right and panda express did an email yesterday it was like uh family for four drive through food for 20 bucks and i'm just like man you know i want to do that but i couldn't i couldn't i can't i want to prepare my own food now and for the most part um so more power to you is uh, i just i just don't get it yet i don't understand what they mean by quarantine when i don't see everyone doing it and with businesses still functioning and if i itch my nose and i touch your burger i'm so sorry i i just need to see it i need to see you wearing gloves i need to see you with a face mask on and then you're breathing on the food too i don't know i don't know i don't have enough facts I don't have enough facts, and so I'd rather just stay away until I understand it more, right? Okay, enough about that. There is something for dogs to stay untangled. And let me tell you, Diane, someone came in recently who bought that, and I asked him, the cockapoo, four or five days, like, no, a week ago? Some of y'all heard it, but he didn't come back on the camera and say, uh, say it, but I, as soon as he walked in, I said, he just said none of that freaking worked. It didn't work. It didn't work. So I'm not going to tell you what to go buy if I know it didn't work. I'm not going to tell you to go buy it. Uh, no, I don't see it working. So that's just me. Um, I'm here. I'm a salesperson. That's my business. I'm a business. If you're a business, you need to sell. Or if you're not going to sell, then you're going to go out of business. So I'm here to sell you. But the the thing I, I'm... I don't like to push anything on you. So I'll educate you and tell you, and I've also spent a lot of money. I have to buy things bulk. And when I buy something bulk to try it, it really sucks when I don't love it. So then I sell it for cheap and I never bring it back on. So that should tell you a lot right there. And I'm gonna tell you, it didn't work. And sometimes I've learned from these clients who have bought that stuff and I'm sharing it with you because I ain't ever gonna go buy it. Because if I'm a small business, but I have to buy it bulk, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to resell it and buy it over and over. I'm done with it. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to even buy it. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's a lot of money. And I remember I tried the, and this is why some companies don't, they always want, this is business education. Everybody's running ads right now because guess what? That's all we have time to do. Instagram ads. I'm, I'm looking through stuff, Facebook, whatever, Instagram, all these things, and I see all these ads because that's what we can do right now. We can still bring in income, right? Or are you open? You can still bring in income if you have a product and you do ads and you get sales and you still bring in income, you're gonna be able to make it. If you don't have something like that, a product that you're selling and bringing in income, how are you going to survive today if you are forced to shut your business down? Or like that corporation who shut down, fired, laid off, whatever, 4,000 people? Those were a lot of jobs that people lost. Are they going to have an income now? No, they're not. But this is business education. And people don't, if you don't think business, you're not going to understand it. Yet we still purchase things from other businesses, right? You are, you are providing for somebody in what you buy and purchase. So if I have to go buy something bulk and I know it kind of doesn't work, I won't, ever, I won't do that. You have got to prove something to me before I bring it on or I'm going to be, I can't. You can't go spend $4,000 in shampoo and not believe in it. Does that make sense? And not like it or use it because then what are you going to do? Buffy, I, I shared something on my Facebook the other day. I said, and I talked about it on YouTube. There are so many people that have been losing their jobs. And I, I gave people a very small option, which is my little take. Do you, like I said, do you see anybody else here? I don't. If you 
know someone who lost their job and they need an income, I can promise you I will give them a referral if you bring in the sale. If they bring in the sale, they tell me in their notes that someone, here, let's just say I'm gonna buy something from my store. I go to myfavoritegroomer.com, I go put a mask in my cart, I go to checkout, there's a notes section. Buffy from YouTube sent me here to buy this mask. Please give her a referral. If you just said, Buffy sent me here, I am going to find out who Buffy is or try, and I'm gonna send Buffy a commission. And that's what little I can do, because I mean, look at me. There's nobody else here. I'm not a corporate corporation, but I can do a, something really little to help somebody out there. And if you do that a hundred times, let's just say I only gave you a dollar commission. That's still a hundred dollars. So if you have all day, every day sitting there, what did I say? C consistency, dedication, and there's another word. Dedicate, consistency, there's another word for it. I forgot what it was. And um, you post it over and over and over and over and over and over. All, that's your, your job list, right? You have all this time, right? I've told this to so many people and I gave them many opportunities and guess how many people actually did this routine? Zero. A routine is consistent. Every hour, every hour you have to post. I'm broke. If I am broke, I should not be playing around gaming. I should not, if I am broke, I should be dedicated. Uh, Raphael, are you out there? Is Raphael out there? So I texted Raphael yesterday. I sent him a link so that if he were to need to share money with somebody, which is uh, if I buy eggs for somebody and someone wants to pay me for the eggs and I do the free delivery, they can just send me the money through this app. And I sent him this app, but I also sent it to like 65 people yesterday. And Raphael texts me, Didi, you're the hardest worker I've ever known in my life. And I compare everyone that says they have good work, at work ethics to you. And I said, this was 11 o'clock at night last night. I was still doing stuff like this. And he said, <laughs> He just made, Raphael, are you out there? So Raphael did some training with me in Pennsylvania. He's a groomer in California. And he just recognized, that is consistency and dedication, okay? If you are broke and you don't have a job, it's time to get up and take advantage of some opportunities that are out there or go create an opportunity that wasn't there. <laughs> okay. So Buffy, if you have a closed up social media, I would think you might have some emails. I would think you might, if you worked, you might have some work, you know, people. And so if I had to share something, I would share in every email. I would, when I became a real estate agent, one of the, the things that we needed to do was share. If you go to, if you go to a real estate meeting and you pay for this networking class, this is pay, you pay for it. They say, bring your cell phone and bring a list of 50 people. And my phone has way more than 50 people, but if you bring a list of 50 people, the homework is during that session is that you are going to call all of those 50 people. And you're gonna say, hey, guess what? I got my real estate license, this and that, this and that. If you happen to wanna buy, sell, did a lease property, call me. And then guess what? I have to do that in a week. So that is called consistency and dedication, right? So when you are sitting there and you're like, I don't have any money, what am I gonna do? You can either start something, create something of your own, or you can start sh the opportunity that I'm giving you or find an opportunity somewhere and share, 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 share. Like share, 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 share means let everyone know in your circle, I had to pay for this training. Let everyone know in your circle what you're doing and how they can help you. And then goes back to that other video I did, which is be clear and say what you need and say what you want. I lost my job yesterday. Can you help me make money? I need, I will get paid a referral if you buy something from this website. Thanks, bye, here's a site. Put my name at the notes section. That's it. I think it's an easy task, but it's not easy to some because some people are lazy and they don't put the time to do those things that are consistent. And so I'm trying to tell you guys, I hope you take something from it, you know, consistency, dedication. It'll get you somewhere. And that's what little I can do, because I mean, I hope I can do something for somebody during this time. Anyways, I answered a few questions. I got to chit chatting with you guys and thanks for listening. And 90 of you guys have kind of stood around. So thanks a lot for being here. Make sure you smash that like button before you leave. If you need any of the supplies that I have, go to myfavoritegroomer.com or get your dog upstand at dogupstand.com. Especially in this time where you're probably gonna start grooming your own pet. 
Get some of the tools that you'll need and you won't have to keep replacing them. You'll just want to learn how to maintain them. The face masks are back in stock. A handful of them were out of stock, like the, we were getting low on larges and we were out of mediums. Full face masks are now in stock. You can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com. Something is better than nothing and you want to use it during grooming anyway. So if you're learning anything here, please share on your social media, say watch and support this small business owner, small veteran Texas business owner. <laughs> and maybe I can help other people if you get help sharing mine, da, 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 da. it's hopefully a trickle down where you can help other people as you go. This video was free for you and there was tons of information that I gave you that I have even had to pay for myself. So I hope you find the value in that. Thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you guys. We will see you soon. Thanks so much. Be sure you share. Connie, thanks a lot for your recent orders. As you build your business, I really pray that it grows and you do some great things. And don't forget, I told you, maybe not blow dry dogs right now. Um, you have to make the call for your health and your family's health. And you're, you got to make the call for you and your family and those people that count to you. Okay. Do you want to do the beat with me? <laughs> Saki, are you passed out? Saki's passed out. We didn't even do anything, man. Okay, download Fortnite. We'll see you on the Fortnite reel. Let's go. Woo. Love you guys so much. Thanks for your support. Without you, I, I wouldn't have a reason to be here. And so, I love you guys. Bye. See you. Do, do, do.